Hello everyone. Welcome back to .NET Core Central. In my last video, I have explored uh, using dependency injection in a .NET Core console application. Today, what I'm going to do is uh, update the same application, but instead of using the out-of-box dependency injection provider by .NET Core, I'm going to use Autofac. Autofac is an uh, uh, open source dependency injection container. It has uh, quite a bit of feature which have been built out over the years and it is one of my favorite dependency injection container that I've been using in the previously in .NET and now in .NET Core. So to start with, what I'll do is I'll add the Autofac dependency injection extension for .NET Core and then we'll go into the container configuration dot configure method to hook the autofac and post that everything should uh, continue working as it is today. So let me start first with adding the NuGet package. So we are going to add the artifact.extensions.dependency injection nuget package. So once it, once it is installed, we'll go back to the container configuration.configure method. And here we'll be changing the implementation of this method to use autofac instead of the default di container so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, create the service collection object but i'll just add it to a variable instead of returning it Now at this point, the service collection is created and I have added the logging method. Uh, now I'm going to go and create the object for um, Autofac. So for that, I'm going to first create the container builder. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start, uh, what is this error? Yeah. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call the populate on container builder, passing the service collection so that the registration can get into out of fact. Once that is done, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start registering all the classes uh, into the container builder.
now that all the registration are done we are going to build the container builder and next we will uh, use the autofac uh, service provider create a new instance of autofac service provider uh, passing the container object and return that and we'll change the We will change the uh, contract of Convicor to return I service provider instead of service provider. Now, if I go back to the um, main method here, nothing has changed. It's still the same. It is still uh, getting the I service provider and getting a service out of it. But here, the entire implementation of registration is changed to use the autofact container now autofact container has certain features which the out of box uh, .NET provider uh, .NET core dependency injection provider doesn't have yet for example uh, if you want to register a type uh, using a name so that you can access it through a name uh, and things of that nature which is still not there in .NET core which can uh, be very handy at uh, certain situations so now let me build the solution let me run it And it is hitting the breakpoint that I have set up in my last uh, video. And now you can see that it is uh, working as expected. It is printing all the count and it also have the console read line that we added last time. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, go into the Docker and uh, create the image again and uh, run it under the docker container missing the dot slash f okay so the docker build is complete now I'm going to go ahead and create a new container And now we can uh, start the container. I'm going to start in interactive mode so that we can see the logs.
I'm just giving the three first three uh, letters of the container ID, which should be enough to uh, start the container, identify the container and start it. And we can see it is working as expected. So that is what I wanted to cover today. Um, it's a short video on using AutoFAC as a dependency injection container. Um, and uh, in my next video, I'm just going to have another short video on uh, how to use a uh, third party logging provider like NLog uh, for logging. Uh, this is, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching the video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are already not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it. Thanks again for watching.